All right, and we're live. What's up, Stu? How you doing, man? 1983 Fleer Cello from a sealed case. This is a lot of fun. The reason this is a lot, uh, uh, even more fun than a normal box is this is almost like a pack in itself because you've got 24 packs we haven't seen the front or backs of, um, and we're not going to rip if we have one of the big three. So um, we have... I know the big three would be Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg. Ryan Sandberg. And we have, um, I don't know if you made uh, cribs, crib notes or anything, we have a little cheat sheet that uh, Danny R was nice enough to send in. So we may have a little drum roll if we hit a couple of those guys. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember it by my own memory. I did see that though. That's incredible. I love that we have that sort of data now sort of being collected by the community here. It, it, I mean, it doesn't work with every, it, FLIR seems to be really consistent with their collation um, during this mid eighties. So um, the, we have three sponsors for this. Everyone got cold feet. I guess no one wanted to start. And then when it was going to be a house stack, Danny R um, wanted to buy the bottom two of the first stack. So we're going to start with the upper right. Um, Wait, a house stack means that that's your stack? Yeah. Um, and so Danny wow. R has the bottom this two. Like a, this is a first for me breaking with you where you have some skin in the game. Yeah. And I actually, I'll probably leave those four packs to last and see if we even need them. That's fine. Sure. You know, maybe we hit everything and we don't even need to break those. Um, uh, so, so we're going to start, we're going to do a little bit differently, but, um, we'll circle back to that one for the bottom two that Danny R picked. But we're going to start with the upper, um, the upper right. Lower right is, uh, Roger M. Beautiful box here, by the way, just the art, uh, you know, the yellow and, and is that Bruce Suter on the front of the, uh, Bruce Suter, who is the brother of Bruce Suter. Yeah, the hero of 1982, basically. Um, I think he's Terry Carter. Look at that. Yeah. Wait, turn it back one more. The other. See the other side. There's a blue gen. It's nice. Uh, the other side. Let's just take a look. Yeah, okay. Two photos. There's on photos each on each side of the card. Is that Qu Quisenberry? Phil Quis Necro, 107 years old in 1983. He was going to play 20 more seasons. <laughs> and Dave Concepcion. Uh, yeah, so... Um, Any relation to Onyx Concepcion? Um, I don't... Remember that guy? Am yeah, I, I, that up? I remember yeah. that name. Actually, There's a guy, right? I bet you he's in one of these packs. Probably. I would say beyond the big three. Like, if you have Ricky Henderson at the front, you might not want to crack that open. I know. I thought about that, too. Ricky so Henderson, Ryan. Cal Ripken. There's a couple that we probably don't want to rip, so... Um, we'll see. I think we it should be up to us to make an executive decision um yeah absolutely like collectively it has to be mutual all right so let's see who's on top and uh, how exciting well we have a um uh the top house stack is a ricky anderson it's the left side of the double card um that's interesting wow so we're going to start with um uh the upper right this time john e and we'll go in order because I think there's pretty consistent oh, 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 I already saw it. He's Did, got a big one. Does he? I didn't even I didn't even notice actually. Yeah, I wasn't looking. All right. I saw it already. <laughs> right, he, this is like a big unless it's like Gary Templeton or something weird. He's <laughs> I think he's all set. All right. Well, we're going to um we're going to rip Baboon um, and this is Gary Ward on the back. Um, we do have yeah. a Ron Kittle um, rookie pack. Yeah. Oh, you see it? <laughs> oh, I. You should take underneath Ron Kittle and like without looking at it, put it at the bottom. Just take my advice. Yeah. Take I, the second one. I saw it, back. and now I'm I'm. Uh, it is a left-handed Padre, but I, it. Sorry to question it. It may be Gary Templeton. It might be. It's a left-handed Padres batter for sure. I'm not sure though. Uh, Lamar Hoyt. We've talked about him. Yeah, he was. Uh, I think this was his year, actually, wasn't it? Cy Young. Yeah. Big, um, this uh, year, possibly, so he would have eighty-two yeah, stats. Lamar here. Yeah. Gradable. These are actually pretty nice. Just a little bit low on these first. Um, Jesse Roscoe with a mean look. Sharp cards though. Babakwa. <laughs> cool. We always talk about Babakwa, and the he's one of the guys that got the wrath of Lasorda. Um, and one of the, the rants, it's probably his claim to fame, Kurt Babakwa. Um, 
being He's like, up. I can send a limousine to his house and pick yeah. him up again. Well, he called him, I mean, this is, it, it, this is just a you know, sign of the times. He called him a fat little Italian. And then, but, you know, there's no social justice warriors back then or out. But, but it's, you know, Lasorda just cuts him one back and says, yeah, I'll send a limousine. When I pitched, I sent, I sent limousines yeah. to make sure these guys that couldn't hit uh, water if they fell out of a boat would, were in the lineup. Willie Wilson, George Brett, nice card, actually. Nice cut, too. Definitely sleep out. But John? He's got some nice chaw in his lip going there. He's feeling good. Feeling the nicotine rush. Hojo, I think that's a, actually a, that's a rookie. A rookie that, that, that's a rookie. That's a rookie. And a pretty nice cut on that. That's a rookie. David Green. I'm free. These are great. They're great. I really like, really like, like looking at these ones. Look at how Gay, Gaylord Perry is 67 years old there. Still pitching. That's what it was like back then. We're getting a little bit of static. It might be your mic might be rubbing your um, uh, your sweatshirt. How about that? Yeah, we, we had a little bit of... Gaylord Perry is um, feeling very relaxed and like maybe like he just ate a meal. Um, <laughs> Ed Glenn, Sorensen, Omar Moreno, and there's the Gary Ward. All right, we had a couple sleevable cards there for Mr. John. Sleevable cards. I like that. It's a good term. Hopefully you're uh, staying safe uh, and Purelling in between touching all the cards. <laughs> We're... Um, Almost stir crazy here. Um, everything was. Uh, they were actually going to go to Epcot, the um, the food and flower festival was this weekend. So of course it was canceled, and yeah, it's been sour moods all the way around. But you know, last perfect game. All right, I don't even remember this. This is kind of before I watched baseball. Um, I remember the perfect games like the late. Ron Hassey. Who is that? Ron Hassey, and who's the pitcher? Ron Hassey and the twelfth perfect game, and then um... Len Barker. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah, Len Barker. You know, you know about that. He threw a perfect game. We know that. Oh yes. That's like a, a that's a known like back in the day. Like Len Barker on like the VHS tapes he used to rent at the store would like yeah. have that Len Barker. This year in baseball and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Go back one. I have a feeling that Dave Edwards might be the guy that we're looking at. <laughs> that kind of looks like the card that I saw. It might be Dave Edwards. Uh, it was, yeah, it's, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, it might be a pump fake on that one. We'll see. Um, Eckersley, Yaz, and Mark Clear. Red Sox Mark All-Star. Clear, how did he get in that picture? Right? He was an all-star that George year. George Orton looked miserable. Miserable. <laughs> you have to remember this card for a mood. Uh, Romo, Doug Blair, Dave Collins. These are a little weird. Feature, Dave Collins. These are a little like low and yeah. left. Um, a few of these. Brian Clark, Dave Pule, Dave Smith. Nice stickers. Lynn Jones, Ruthven. I don't remember that guy. Gene Gerber. Royster, nice. Oh, wow. That's, Ooh, that's a decent cut, too. That's nice. That looks good, too. That's not bad, That's actually. possibly gradable. It might be just that's a like little a PS, bit. That could be a PSA 9. I think it might be a 9. It's just a little bit low. The corners and edges are perfect, though. It looks pretty sharp. It looks like you could pick your teeth with that card. That's sharp. <laughs> nice. All right. Nice pulls. Yeah, that's probably like the third or fourth best card in the set. There's a Carlton Fisk. Hall of Famer. Moose Haas, absolutely. Frank Tanana and Buddy Bell. All right. Pack number... It's doing pretty good here for Hall of Famers. Not too bad. Is that Ed Lynch on the front and um, Ron Say on the back? So we're a little out of order in the collation. Just have to remember that if we hit the end or something that we, we put the, <laughs> either the Gwen or the Templeton uh, pack on the back. Yeah. Schiffer. There's some Padres. Lawler. Nichols. Wow, the cut is awful on these cards. Yeah, it's 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 left and it's low on a few of these in the middle, and then it, it seems to tighten up. That's a, a rookie. That's a rookie. That's a rookie. It is a rookie. Wow, look at the cut on it. It's not too good, though. Um, there's the box card. PSA 1. Cover boy. The box card. It's always fun to hit. 
It's usually good luck when you hit the box card. Ron Scurry, Reggie Smith. Gary Gray, almost as Gary Gary. Tony Pena. Bob Mitchell. Raleigh Fingers. That's um that's a pretty good cut. I'm gonna sleeve that just because it's almost a perfect cut. You'd have to find like a uh, a Raleigh Fingers uh, super collector. All right. Wally Backman, pretty good cut on that too. Lee Smith. Probably and Hall of Ron say. Yeah, Lee Smith is is a Hall of Famer as well. Um, yeah, it's like when uh, when uh, Don West used to host the late night talk show, and he would pull the cards. He'd be like opening up packs of like ninety five upper deck or something, you know. And he'd be like, or or, or not even ninety five, but he'd he'd be like Hall, Hall of Famer. <laughs> right. It's like a twentieth twentieth year like Willie Stargell card. Right, right. And uh, anyway, I used to love that. Willie McGee. Willie McGee, though, that's nice. He stole a bunch of bases. Stole a lot of bases. Made a he's a clutch player. Um, uh, this nineteen eighty part of those World Championships. He Absolutely. won a couple World Series. Absolutely. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, they don't win this year without him. Uh, Eighty two. Um, the guy hit four. I don't know if you remember that World Series. Um, he hit four home runs. The I mean, he's 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 a, he's a hit guy. A great fielder fielder. Um, like a four tool guy. But he doesn't have power, right? Well, hits two home runs in one game in the World Series. And, That's the cocaine Cardinals. Right. And in the same game, robs Corman Thomas of a three-run home run in the ninth inning. And, of course, it's wow. a seven-game series. They don't win the, the World Series without him, Willie McGee. Put, put it that way. Chuck Rainey. And, uh, and yeah, that came out later. Um, uh, but, yeah, that's... Definitely one of the asterisks of this. Lazinski, Concepcion. There's a box card. A box, box set, yeah. <laughs> Chili Davis. Possible rookie. Possible rookie because I remember we pulled his 84 and we thought it was a rookie and it wasn't. So this has got to be a rookie. Or is it 82? Were we off by two years? Someone corrected us. I don't remember. I don't remember. It kind of looks like his rookie. Um, the problem is he, he, was, he had a cup of coffee in 81. Uh... So maybe he had an 82. Um, I'm not sure, actually. Worth um, pulling aside just in case. I mean, even with the bad cut, there's a... We'll, we'll see. Gotta show Chili respect. Chili. We, like, we like Chili, yeah, absolutely. Ken Forsh. Manski. Bruno. Frankie Viola. Is that a rookie? Wow, he looks like, he looks like he's 12 years old there. <laughs> Check out the haircut. Wow. Is that like Fred Savage from the Wonder Years? That's like a cartoon character with that haircut, too. Looks like somebody's somebody's bar mitzvah photo. <laughs> Look at this guy, Jack Clark. Is that his rookie? I think it is. That's why I'm sleeping it, and it's a good cut too. Um, Look at that stash. Oh man, who's we, that? We yeah. can, oh my god. Okay. We can rule uh, out Gary Templeton. I want Templeton. you to do me a favor. I want yeah. you to do me a favor. You need to recognize that if that person on the front of that sleeve is not Tony Gwynn and it is Gary Templeton, I should get equal points for saying that it might be Gary Templeton. Because that's like, who remembers that card? It's, and somehow, it could be. Yeah, it could be, it could actually. Be. <laughs> I'm, it, we're, we're one pack away. I'm about to find out. I'm actually curious now. I've gone I back don't and think forth it's going to be good times. anymore. I'm starting to have my doubts. I, yeah, because it looks like the Padres had a photo shoot with that, that same sort it of... It looks like style. everybody did that Gwyn pose. Yeah, right at the batting cages or something, you know? Maybe you need to flip the bottom pack over so it's face down. So we have like the extra slow slow peel. All right, let's see if I can do this. Nobody look. All right, nobody saw. By the way, we should do we will do this type of stuff for like anybody who has like a big top card that we might buy. And that's pretty good if you're a Kittle super fan. I mean, <laughs> back in '84, this was the hottest card in the set because um, he was rookie Plus of the year. He, he was on the, the the top of the Beckett cold list more than any other player in the history. <laughs> Yeah, because he started out so hot. Rookie of the year, 30 home runs, 100 RBIs as a rookie, and you're like, yeah, this guy's just getting started, and he was, you know, on his way down, unfortunately. Um, he was a good slugger, but he never really fulfilled his potential on the checklist on the back. So we're going to rip Ron Kittle. Sorry, Ron Kittle fans out there. We'll sleeve him anyway, though, since it's a rookie. Um, might be worth 50 cents. Doug DeSensei's. Hey, nice smile. smile. Yeah, like the Joker. Not too serious. Steve Sachs. 
Hey, showing you how it's done. Done. Playing the game the right way. Laying down the bunt when needed. Just working on the fundamentals in the cage. In the cage, laying down the bunt. I mean, that is taking it serious. We used to have to do that only on, like, the last pitch, you know, before you ran the bases, you'd bunt. Um, but uh, Sachs was a leadoff guy, so he probably, um, he, he, he batted first or second, so he probably did a bunch of that. He stole a lot of bases. Willie Randolph? The captain, Willie Randolph. Roy Smalley? There's a, there's a nice Ooh. cut on that, too. Not too bad. Yeah. Just a little bit nice. left on the Eddie Murray. Fox boy, Dale Murray. Dale Murray. Rick Burleson. Castino. Bergman. Wagner. Checklist. All right. Well, this is where it's going to come down to here. I have a feeling that it's, it's not Tony Gwynn based on the fact that I've now seen, like, several players in that same sort of, like, posed by the batting cage. Well, not only that. Pose. It was we, that same jersey. I don't remember any of those indicator cards in the last, you know, bit of one of the cellos above him. So, um, so I think it's just – I think it's one of his teammates. Um <laughs> Actual and retail price, it is <laughs> not <laughs> him. Uh, I'm not even sure who that is actually. Um, not Burns. even close. It's yeah. not even close to him. But it was worth like the suspense because it was a Padre. It's definitely the same stadium Gene and Richards. same same uh, batting cage. But uh, yeah, um, Gene. Yeah, Richards is Gene Richards, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Home run threats: Ogilvy and Jackson, Infier, Greg Brock. Winfield, nice. Looking relaxed. Just leave that. Randy Moffitt. Easler. Ricky Hatcher. <laughs> I never can tell when. When was this guy? I always think like. All right, so. I thought 86 Fleer was his route. No, and look, he actually was in the majors in 79. This guy played forever for the Dodgers. Um, and then he bounced around for the Twins. And then I only remember him for that 1988 home run. Uh, off yeah. Dave Stewart. He filled no, he filled in for Kurt Gibson. Right. And, yes. And Torah and, Tora and like was like, they, uh, all of a sudden he was the greatest player in the history of baseball. There he is. So um, we actually didn't talk about uh, it's already in the preview video, but there is a lotto. You have to hit the double card in your stack, or a half of a double card, and he can count as a wild wild card. Yeah. So. Um, uh, you got to hit another Steve Trout or a half of a double card, <laughs> Mr. John, to, to hit it. But uh, at least you hit the Steve Steve Trout. Let's leave that so we remember. Art Howe, Beatty, Mike Marshall, little printing line right right in the middle. Jesse Barfield, Shiki, Easterly, Brinley. Grub, Boone, Jay Johnstone, with a normal uh, picture. Jorgensen, I'm not used to and Burroughs. I'm seeing, used to seeing him with that rain hat. While you are getting the next stack open, I'd like to show people what I came across. Uh, my sister is like packing up some of her stuff and found some stuff like this. I don't know if you can see what I'm holding here. Oh, snap. There's an actual like, garbage fill kids like binder, like loaded with Series 1, 2, Wow, stickers. that's so your. We're gonna have some fun going through that. So if I uh, if I spot any any good ones in there, I'll let you know. That's yours or that's Carrie's? I guess it's mine because she gave it to me, saying this is yours. That's a kingly gift. The series one are like highly prized of those, you know. Yeah, I mean, I seem like I would be the type of guy that would have like hung on to all of that stuff, right? So. There's a good chance that this is the good stuff. I see Series 4. Uh, maybe not. Series, what is this? Series 3. Yeah, series, a little Series 1 and 2, mostly 3 and 4. I guess I was like, a little late to the game here. Here we go. Is that your boy? This is Danny R's. You know what? I'm going to set this stack to the side. Because if is that he, Mookie? Yeah, that's Mookie. And if he hits one of the big, um, he has two stacks, two packs in the bottom of this stack. So if he, like, hits one of his big cards and he doesn't need this pack, I'm going to save it to last um, just because it's Mookie on the front. Um, like for you? <laughs> no, 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 for, <laughs> for him. He's a Met fan. Um, but, yeah, but uh, so are you. Look, you have a Mookie Wilson card. Like, straight I know. Ahead. He knows that, too. Raleigh Fingers on the back. Um, 
Did we see Raleigh or we see his one of his special cards? Um, all right, Concepcion. Uh oh, we've uh, we've hit a little bit of a repeat. Al Holland, Bump Wills. We did hit some of these guys already. There's the Willie. Yeah, McGee, a little bit better cut. That's a better, better Willie. Yeah, that's, that's a much better, better Willie. Absolutely. Actually, there was kind of a lottery right there because uh, you had Chili and Willie in the same. Chili and Willie in the same stack. Kurt Gibson. Yeah, Chili, yeah. Chili Davis there, right? Chili Willie. Come on, that, that could have been a lotto. Gary Gary could also be one. Tony Pena, Mitchell, and there's the Raleigh. Been there, done that. We've seen a few of those. Oops, let me sleep the Willie real quick. And That's a nice Willie, much better than the, than the other one. It is nicer. It's a much nicer cut. Still looking for a Sandberg, looking for a Gwynn, looking for a Wade Boggs. And... I don't know if we saw Caesar Geronimo on the back. Mike Scott. I think these are some new guys, actually. Bert Hooten. Yeah. Walking Fuss. <laughs> Gary Matthews. Bert Meyer. Chuck Rainey. Oh, baby. Bannister. Uh, now we've seen him. Storm yeah, Davis. we've done him. Yeah. Uh, wire. Uh -huh. I don't thought that was Boggs. You gotta go slower on those Red Sox. Carly hey, that's Andrews. nice. Dar Dale Murphy we have not seen for sure. Ryan Gidgeon no, we have seen. Definitely see both those guys. Um, all right, some new guys for sure. Rudy May. All new. McLaughlin. New. Mets checklist. New. Mm, new. Maybe not new. No. Fred Savage. Fred Savage, and we saw uh, Jack Clark, Bucky Dent, and uh, I'm not sure if yeah. we saw Geronimo there. Um, so we have yeah, the pack. Yeah, that flavor saver. Yeah, some of the uh, some of the side hair and the mustaches are out of control. In 1983. I guess that Willie McGee is a little bit low, but uh, I'm not complaining. Yeah, it is. Um, it's not perfectly cut, but... Um, the, Dale, the Dale Murphy looks like... Uh, there's, there's, you know, on uh, Instagram, there's quite a few uh, Dale Murphy collectors, so... There's a lot of Dale Murphy collectors. A lot of Braves fans. I mean, a most of, Braves fans are... I, I've noticed that uh, there's a lot of people that collect Dale Murphy still to this day. Yeah, absolutely. There's a couple guys in my Instagram feed that uh, freak out over uh, Dale Murphy. Von Hayes on the back. All right, we're definitely ripping this bad boy. Ron Hassey. Hassey, uh, half of the battery mates of the perfect game with Len Barker. Oh, yeah, that's right. As we learned previously. That's right. It's Joe Nolan. Rodriguez. Wow, a little bit miscut on these. He's barely on there. Pete Ladd. <laughs> we got the big fat right border. I've always heard that the cut is better on cellos because they took the miscut cards and put them in wax, but that's obviously not always the whoever case. Told, whoever told you that didn't crack a, a, a cello box. Yeah, that's not always the case. Um, Dravecki. With, uh, uh, with uh, Eichelberger. I think we've hit every Padre except for Mr. Gwynn at this yeah. point. <laughs> All right, Mirabella. It's in that. These are new. Pryor, Vita Blue. He's one, uh, uh, uh. he's one of the uh, half cards, but that's not his half card. Mike Heath. Petrie. Daryl Porter. Mayberry. Cruz. Milborn. And there's Devon Hayes. Well, we have a Hall of Famer pack next, but um, we're going to rip it. Um, we got two Hall of Famer it? We got two Hall of Famer packs, actually. Um, oh, is that Molly? This is Paul Molitor and um, Alan Fowler on the back. So, um, we're ripping. I think that Molitor, you probably, yeah. Okay, it's open now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> a little left to right on that. Uh, there's a Rusty Staub. Sanchez. Ron Jackson. Steve Garvey. Please. Luis locker. Sanchez, go back a couple of weeks and he looks like he gives no Fs. He's just chill, yeah. He's totally chilling. Yeah. I like the locker pick there, all the wire hangers. He's yeah. 
<laughs> before plastic took over. Yeah, Bobby yeah. Diaz. Bo Diaz, of course, you know what happened to him. Rest in peace. Was it Cruz? <laughs> Mr. Dave Kingman. We talked about him and his home runs. We don't want to start hitting Kingmans again. Yep. Remember, uh, what was it? Uh, Don Russ, we hit, I don't know, a Kingman in every stack, I think. Jim Rice, Jim Rice Hall of Famer. Oh, look at that. He's doing, like, a signing for, like, a TriStar or something. It's like, what's happening there? <laughs> yeah. So uh, just, like, signing balls? Rick Mailer is, um, yeah, so, like, absolutely. Was Rick Mailer signed balls a big thing in 82? I know, right? Yeah. Uh, Maybe um, must be some type of promotion or um, is that a card show <laughs> season ticket holder. He's in full uniform, so it looks like the clubhouse. But now you can see the lockers back there. It's in the clubhouse. Uh, so, something shady's going on here. I don't think he's supposed to be photographed doing that. <laughs> that's like that's like a side hustle. Loop well, if you see like one of one uh, Rick Miller autograph balls from '82 on eBay, know that that is not true. There are definitely more than one. <laughs> There's one. There's a bunch of them. Ernie Witt. Looking relaxed. Obviously, Ernie Witt hadn't earned me a starting job quite yet there. Yeah, that was, an relaxed. Off, that was an off day for sure. <laughs> Jeff Little, Terry Felton, and Alan Folks. So, um, different cards, but um, we're tiptoeing around the guys we want. This is a Hall of Fame pack, but we're going to rip it because I don't think that uh, Danny R is a, is a Hawk fan. Oh, who is that? Okay, Dawson? That's the Hawk, yeah. Yeah, but if it was it was centered better, I would say we should discuss it. But yeah, it is. Awesome. There's a lot of yeah. Dolphin fans in, on Facebook I see, but uh... um, one of my uh, best friends in middle school that was uh, Dawson was his uh, favorite player, and it was the year before he went to the Cubs. Believe it or not, he predicted all that. He told me like um, we haven't seen this one yet. Uh, Yount and Bell. He was like, yeah, Andre Dawson bats like 500 in daytime games, and this is before lights in Wrigley. So he's like, wait till you see what he's going to do in Wrigley. It's going to be crazy. And, of course, that was his MVP year. He had 49 home runs. Um, yeah. Uh, shout out to my friend Kevin, who I um, lost track of. Bob Welch. Dave Stewart as a Dodger. Um, Intimidating man. Yeah. Would, Not a rookie card. Would lose to the Dodgers um, just a few years later, unfortunately. Watch them uh, get crowned Tom Herr. He, 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 he won a World Series. Don't worry. He won a World Series, and it wasn't his fault. He pitched. He actually pitched great. Um, uh, I think he won several World Series. He won it. I, I know he won at least one. He won against the yeah, He won against the Giants in '89. Then yes. he lost to Cincinnati. Lost to the Then Reds. he won Toronto in '93. So that's two. Oh, okay. Yes, that's right. He was part of that, wasn't he? Or '92. One of those years. '92 or '93. Yeah. Monix, Pesoric, Soto. Mario, look, just chilling on the uh, road case. Yeah, on the travel case there. Uh, Money. Mickey Rivers. You have to remember Don Money for a, um, for a lotto. Like, you know, there's someone yeah. whose last name is Fame or, you know, something like that. Rod Carew, there's a Hall of Famer. The headband. Yeah. Sleeve that. Even as a young kid, I knew to admire Rod Carew. Like, even like when I first learned about baseball, like, Rod Carew and was one of the guys that you just knew to respect. Like Reggie Jackson, Rock Roo, Carly Skrunsky. Those were like the old-timer kind of players that you just, as a kid, without even having seen them do their best things that they had done, because he was already kind of at the tail end of his career there, I knew that Rod Carew was something to be revered. You know what I mean? Is that the same for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, he was just one of those guys like... Uh... Well, like Pete Rose, that, you know, when I started collecting, like, those were the guys that were revered and, you know, already future Hall of Famers. So have we hit every Padre? So these two are also Danny R's. This, the, the Mookie is also, I'll just open it last if, if we don't hit pay dirt in either of these. Um, Jerry Turner and Brad Havens. Um, let's do, um, I'm sure who this is, but uh, the Padres were coming in pairs. Um, I don't think he was one of our indicator cards, Joe Pittman. Look, they did come in pairs. Well, they did come in pairs. It's for real. Alan Wiggins, it seems like almost Padres every time. Padres come in pairs. That's a good one. Padres come in pairs. We just discovered and Cardinals come in threes. <laughs> right. Obrick fell. Uh, oh, all right. So um, was it John E. hit the Steve Trout? Um, well, you got, half of the, you got half of a double card, so you might hit your lotto here. We got to look. We're looking for um, Ricky Henderson. 
So it's speed and power. This was really towards the end of Reggie's pack. Oh, we know that that Ricky Henderson is on the front of your pack. Well, no, it's, it's um, oh, that's right. That is there, too. It's right there. Unfortunately. <laughs> that's right, and this was the bottom one, wasn't it? Maybe there's two in this one. Uh, uh, Big McBride. Parker. There he is, Glenn Barker. Perfect game with Ron Assey. That's right. Dave Parker. Gorman Thomas, one of the years from the Brewers that year. Ben Hayes. Bud Black. Hubie Brooks. Knowles. Jody Davis. Jaeger. And Jerry Turner. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um, all right. So we're going to rip these. So you got. You're looking for the Henderson half card or. Um, Mr. Steve Trout to bail you out. A um, little bit of a um, uh, little bit of miswrap in, inside there. Um, in the factory. All right. Ken Herbeck. Robin Yount. We have seen Yount before. I don't think we saw the Herbeck though. David Palmer. Quisenberry. Look at him. So happy. Well, look at all that tobacco he's got in his mouth. Like. Like a golf ball. It seems like there's been a lot of teams in pairs. Um, Dusty Baker, Whitaker, Mike Torres, Bruce Hurst. Man, I'm telling you, like we have. I mean, the teams are coming in pairs. Awful. I can't believe that we're not pulling like. We're gonna need my bonus uh, for I think. Uh, uh, we'll see, Jim Jimmy Sexton. Allenson, Ramirez, Steve Carlton, we've seen before, unfortunately. Rigetti, Singleton, Moses B, and Havens. All right, well, we're going to rip Mookie um, for Danny R to try to win the lotto or. Get him, Sandberg. Get him, Sandberg. Get him a Boggs. Hit one of the big three. Um, oh, you got Mookie Wills? That's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, we haven't hit Mookie before, so I don't think we've hit Zahn before. Of course. You know, two angels, Bobby Grinch, Monday, Herndon. Oh, these are new guys. These, these are new. Gross. Ooh, oh, oh, no, no, no. Ojeda. No. Spillman. No. Rick Waits. Rick Hona. Paul Famer as a manager. Um, back to back Orioles. Dotson. Ken Griffey, we've seen before. Ken Griffey. We saw him before, unfortunately, I think. Rick Dempsey, I'm not sure if we saw Dempsey. Clancy? Uh, we haven't seen these guys. These are new. Connor? But uh, it doesn't matter. There's nothing, nothing here, boys. Wolford, Butcher, Don uh, Slot, and Al McRae. Super happy. All right, well, um, we're going to. We tried. <laughs> we tried. Um, really close to the lotto. Um, that Dale Murphy could probably get him like 40 bucks graded. That Dale Murphy was really nice. Um, so Roger M. It's up to Roger M. And if not, we're going to go into the oil reserves and rip those four packs to see if we can pull something great. Um, now, am I part of the house or you're the house? <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll spin the wheel. Like if nobody gets a hit, and I, you know, I'm not going to take all the best cards. Maybe we'll. We'll I think it should be yours. It's yours. You're the you're the house. It's yeah, like, but listen, I can't you go do to that. Vegas I'll, and like the house could win the hand. I'll uh, it. I have no wish. We'll see. Being we'll able see. To take four uh, packs. Um, uh, it was completely fair. This whole box is open on camera. I'm here to witness. No funny business. There's a Yaz. Yaz on the back. Um, is this his last card? God, I played forever. Look at that. Yeah, I, I would probably I would probably keep that sealed. It's probably worth about three or four hundred dollars. Oh. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Bla oh, we saw this guy before. I remember that. Uh, Malka. Dave Collins, the speedster. Ryan Clark. Yeah. Johnny Ray. Yeah. Oglavy, we have seen. Reardon. Leonard. Dave Henderson. That's promising. 
Carl no. Fisk. We saw Fisk before. Yeah. Moose Haas, Tanana. Yes. Yeah, Rinko. George Foster. Mike Norris. Dwayne Murphy. And there's Yes. Wow. When was, he a, when was he a rookie? Yeah, like 61. Wow. That's crazy. Guy played forever. All right. Uh, box card on the front. And um, Dubinsky on the back. Sammy Stewart. Pride of Venezuela. Have we seen Concepcion and Trio? Man and Trio? I'm not sure. No, we have not. Baumgarten. This is new. <laughs> Rod Scurry. These Pirates guys are characters of those hats. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Reggie Smith. Which right? Uh oh. We hey. saw this one. Hey. We saw our friends with the last there they are. games. Good old Hassy and Barker. And woo, the pump fake on the. Oh. Yeah. That's the, I mean, Tony Gwynn's right over here, like four feet to his left, getting ready to have his picture taken. Bob Shirley. There's so much uh, uh, Gwynn teasing uh, with these Padres, I'm telling you. We've hit like nine or ten Padres uh, players. That look like the card. It's at the same photo session, absolutely. Same batting uh, cages. All right, Gene Garber, Royster. Oh, Nolan Ryan, nice. Saves the pack. This is a little bit crazy. I can't believe it. I remember one of our indicator cards for sure was Tommy John, who normally we would have hit like three times already. Um, Joe Rudy. Um, is it uh, Beniquez maybe was another one of our indicator cards? But uh, two, two teams in the same day? That hasn't happened very often, I wouldn't think. Um, oh, what was that? Joe Youngbud is the first, oh, first major league player to register a base hit for two teams on the same day. He was traded to the Mets and the Expos. He uh, wrapped a base hit in the day game and another for the Expos that night. That, Hilarious. that may be the only time that's happened. How often that could that, that have happened? Uh, also, his daughter is on Instagram, and she's an actress. Really? Joe Youngbud? Her name is Bo. Bo Youngblood, her name is... She's a, she's a nice young lady. Nice. Bo Youngblood. Ron Washington? Wash. Slayton? Miss Lamp? Harold Baines? I'm not sure if we've seen that one. It's a nice cut on that. We'll see that. Oh, Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer. There you go. That's, That's a nice Carter. Both of those are a pretty nice cut, actually. Hargrove? Nice Never seen him. Royally yeah, Jackson. Yeah, that's our buddy, the National Anthem. Yes. Sings the National Anthem. Scott the Orange, contact hitter. Wow, there's a little bit uh, something <laughs> something going on in that card. Ron Wester is... Uh, that might be worth, like, sleeving. That's pretty funny. Not people... It's like the Ron Wester like, <laughs> size matters card. Right. Uh, yeah. Something phallic about what he's doing there. Come on, man. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> We'll sleep that as a goof just because we're uh We're immature. Yeah, Mike Witt and um and we're yeah, we're challenged for stuff to sleep right now. Um unfortunately. Yeah, but I think that if the general public was made aware or re made aware of this card, I think it I think it'd become quite popular and that's a nice card of it. He literally come on, that is it seems not like subtle. maybe have is there another Ron Wester card that we took note of? It seems like a I remember his name not from him playing, and but from his part. doing that on purpose. <laughs> or the photo sometimes the photographers get over on these guys, you know. Like he's just checking the grip, and the guy's like, "Yeah, yeah, keep doing that." Um, <laughs> all right, uh, we got a White Sox first base. Who's that? I'm not even sure. Bill Stein on the back. It's, this is a good uh, uh, bus for us. Or uh, not bus, uh, a rip for us, because I'm sure both of us are familiar with 83 Fleer, but not so familiar to the point where we can still be surprised discovering new things about it. 
Yeah, honestly, I like, never. It's not it. like I remember cracking an overabundance of eighty-three Fleer ever in my life. No, me either. I like, probably, probably, you know, I probably cracked some, but it was not like eighty-seven tops or something. You know, it's like, like I don't know the eighty-three Fleer set back, like you know, like the back of my hand. Oh, Tom Brookins is an indicator. Does that mean Boggs is next? Um, is that the Red Sox that we see? It looks like a red. Brookings is an indicator from what Danny R said. So um, we got a drum, so that drum roll. Boggs. Tug McGraw. That could be Boggs. I think you're right. That, that could be Boggs. I think that's who it is. Let's see. That's yes. him. A little wow. bit left to right, but um, yeah, we hit one of our rookies. All right, nice. And D Danny R's uh, indicator cards were correct. Who are you to doubt Danny R's indicator cards? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean. There you go. Boggs, baby, we did it. Now I feel like we, we like mission accomplished. Yeah, let's see if we can keep keep rolling with that. Uh, I real, I mean. Couldn't, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I'll be honest with you, um, Henderson. Nice. Um, oh. That's definitely sleepable. Nice, pretty nice, decent yeah. cut on that too. Actually, oh man, just yeah. a little bit to the right, but the top to bottom's nice. I'll be honest with you though. Um, uh, if you remember late 80s, you usually were either a Boggs or a Mattingly, not both. You kind of right. had not to pick both. one of the – and I was a Mattingly oh, that's guy. Oh, it's like Red Sox Yankees. Yeah, you, and, and plus, you know, they always – I was a Mattingly guy for sure. Yeah, they were always one and two for the batting title for a couple years in a row there, and it was definitely a rivalry. Yeah. At, um, Lee Mazzilli bounced around quite a bit. Let's see. Oh, uh, he was Rolaids relief pitcher, Ron Reed. That's kind of before our time, but I guess he was the year before there. Let's see. He would have had. Um... Wow. It only took 14 saves to be the Rolaids relief pitcher of the year in 82, um, apparently. How many, how many holes did he have? And he's just holding it for Steve Bedrosian. Like, yeah. like... 85 holes. Yeah, you're right. Um, or no, that was okay, hits. So I'm sorry, that was hits. <laughs> that was hits. He went that many. Um, it doesn't say complete games, none. Yeah, he was he was like a middle reliever guy, but um, uh, it couldn't be right. He's obviously holding Steve Jersey and is like tying his shoe, and he's like, "Can you hold this for me?" A 2.6 uh, ERA. Um, maybe that's uh, that's not enough. That's not enough to do it. It's actually that's got to be a joke. Is his name actually on the award? It is. Look at it. It's kind of hard to, I don't know if I can get the focus on it. It is, though. I believe you, uh, but that's just ridiculous. He ha does not have the stats to back up that ward. No, Was I mean, he voted on by, like, his family? Only, well, Cal Ripken Jr. Um, uh, only the ERA, I would say. Um, but, yeah, not not a lot of saves. Um, Ripken Jr., all right, nice. That's a good cut. Really nice cut, actually. Good star pack. All right. And I... Really like seeing these um, Randy Johnson at the big unit and Milt May there. All right. Nice pack here for sure. Man, we're cooking with oil now. Wow. That Rookin Jr. is no joke, actually. I'm not sure if it could be a 10. That looks good. Is it just a little that low? That looks like it could be a, nine, nine, a, a BG, a, a Beckett, nine and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a 9.5 Beckett, for sure. Um, that Henderson looks pretty nice. Henderson's not too bad. A little left or... Yeah, exactly. Uh, barely off, barely. Really nice card, though. All right, Dan Norman. I don't think we've seen Dan Norman. Gary Lucas. Oh, oh slow peel here? No. We've seen every they Padre. Pairs, though. Is there a Padre we have not seen yet? Other than yes, his name, right. Other yes, his name guy. is Tony Gwynn. Other than our guy, <laughs> Smith brothers. We haven't seen this one. We haven't seen Ozzy and Lonnie. Um, Are they, they really brothers? brothers? No, it's just they were both Smith. And um, uh, it's funny we have a company in town named Smith Brothers. Um, but uh, well, that's a little bit. Yeah, he was with the um, Royals, uh, Lonnie Smith, um, and went to the Braves also. Yeah, he, he bounced around. Good player, actually, Lonnie Smith. Gene Tennis, he became a batting coach. Bill Garner. 
I'll tell you what, there's a oh, lot boy. of there's a lot of double team back to back in this. I don't know if that's how they did their collation or not, but Cecil Cooper, one of those Brewer sluggers. There's Chambliss, Alan Ashby. Yeah, I think Bob Paul Paul's getting a pretty big stack this week. We haven't seen. By the way, um, thank you all, you guys. I sent Foul Ball Paul's stuff out um, earlier this week. Uh, I think he's at spring training, so we may not have gotten it yet, but I sent everything out, including I didn't hear spring from Spring training is canceled. Season. Spring training is canceled. Foul Ball Paul is at Hooters, so let's not uh, I saw his, around. I saw his post from day one where like only one or two guys came over to give him an autograph because of the, uh, you know, COV-19 uh, yeah. scare. Sosha there? Parrish, Brian Downing, Campbell, and Ellis Valentine. New players. Um, so maybe we continue that into this next pack. Um, last pack for Roger and M. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and go and dip into our oil reserves. Um, I mean, unless we hit a Gwyn and a Sandberg in this pack, which I don't think the collation allows. So uh, it's terribly left to right. Um, Bob Horner. Good set. Good set right on these. <laughs> right. Gary Maddox. A few of our key players have been pretty good center, but uh, yeah, overall they've been just left to right um, consistently. Al Woods. Silver Shoe, Ricky Anderson. We haven't seen that one before. We'll see that. Daryl Evans. Matt Lack. Fiskin Carter. Al Oliver. Gail Barra. And then the house stack is going to have, like, uh, Sandberg, Gwynn. <laughs> I'll definitely have to um, show Youngblood. Um, hey, there's Bo, Bo Youngblood's dad. Yeah, on, on his own card. Uh, um, so he should have – why doesn't he have a Met card also? Um, he should have a Met and a Expos card, right? Frank White. Garden Hire. Henderson. Ripley. Royce, Jack Morris, Ozzy Virgil, and Poker Roba. Don't remember him. All right, so we're getting into the, we're dipping into the reserves. We rip these house packs, which we should see some new players because we did not, we haven't seen the the left half of the Henderson um, speed card. So these should be new cards. Hopefully. Here we go. Here it is. Jerry White. Woody Fryman. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, another. I didn't. I didn't think there was possible to pull another Padre we haven't seen. Three hundred career, career wins. Perry. Yeah, absolutely. And who's with him? Bolt. What does that say? That must be his catcher, huh? Whoever that guy is. <laughs> doesn't look. What's his name? name? <laughs> um. Bill, what is that name? Bullying Sato? It's what is that Bulling. Say? Oh, Terry Bullying. Sorry. Terry Bullying. Yeah. It was 10 years old when Gaylord Perry loaded a he, rubber. Yeah, when he first pitched, he was Terry Bullying was 10 years old, but he caught his 300th game. Yes, wow. I get it. That's how That's long Gaylord Perry was pitching. <laughs> I mean, these guys used to play until their 70s back then. There's a Fernando, nice. It's like a third year. Fernando Mania. Let's leave that. Who's Gossage? Floyd Bannister. You know, Fernando Mania uh, preceded Hulkamania. Like, Hulkamania was, be they called it that because of Fernando Mania. Is that true? I just made that up, and it sounds like a good Hollywood Squares answer. There's the Pete Rose. We haven't seen Charlie Hustle before. Go get that sign at the Caesar Palace Forum Small if you want. Glenn Hubbard without the snake. Glenn Hubbard, you see? Playing the game the right way. Laying down a bunt when it asks to do so. Yeah. The lost art of the bunt. You don't see that in today's swing for the fences game too often. That's right. And without his snake. And uh, fun fact, Glenn Hubbard was uh, on base when Canseco hit that grand slam in 88. He was uh, he, he was platooning, I think, with uh, Gallego. Um, and he got the start, and he got on base, and... Um, with the ace um, in 
in our yeah, that, that's, a, that's a manicured beard before you kind of ahead of his time. Hey, Backstreet Boys wouldn't be wouldn't exist till for about another fifteen years after this. No, well, you know what it is at this time. Um, he looks, looks like, like a bad guy, guy from the Count of Monte Cristo. Or, or I was gonna say, um, Ming the Merciless. Superman too. Like, like the, the bad guys that were in like leather outfits. Yes, um, either General Zod or um, uh, Ming the Merciless from Flash Gordon uh, had a. He was definitely. Yes. He thought of himself as like you know the villain for sure. He rooted for those guys for sure. Um, Garcia Burns. <laughs> Look how bored he looks. He he can't be happy with that picture the way it came out. <laughs> That's like his first. Shooting his nail, like, right? Joe Price. Price looks, looks like, like he just got a bong. He's super happy. Ted Simmons fired up. Dave Schmidt. Sundberg. Getting closer. Bruce Kyson. Oops, I put those on. Top of the silver shoe. All right, um, I'm not sure who this guy is. Phil Necro's on the back. Um, we saw Phil Necro, but I think it was on a superstar card, right? Bob Walk? He was on the side of the box. That's where you're remembering him from. Anduhar. Joaquin Anduhar, we know all about him. Yeah, he's the he's the guy that got his kneecap oh, really? cracked in the World Series. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. also um, had some stimulants. The ringleader. Uh, what is that? It's look. Uh, he faked a throw for the camera guy, and the camera guy was late because he never threw it. You see that? That's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. What a poser. The camera guy's like, all right, fake like you're gonna throw. He's like, all right. I feel like he didn't he throw a perfect game once. El Presidente didn't. Isn't he El Perfecto or something? Um, I think he threw a perfect game. Was it a perfect maybe. game or, or a no hitter? Maybe. Um, I'm not. No, sure. I think a perfect game. Was it? You might I'm willing to say final answer. Dennis, Dennis Martinez threw a perfect game. Should I Google it? You might. You might have to because I'm not. Sh I'm not 100 percent on that. Um, but you might be right. Um, Diaz. Oh, there's a. There's oh, a there's always a chance that it might be right. There's a uh, rest in peace card. Um, Bo and uh, Gary Carter. I think, I think he broke broke that news of, news about uh, Bo. Uh, yeah, uh, Dennis Martinez. Pitched a perfect game, the 13th perfect game in Major League Baseball history against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Wow. In 1991, July 28th. El Perfecto. I, I mean, I think it, it rings a bell. I didn't remember it being a perfect game, but yeah, congrats to Danny Martinez. Um, Stargell and Rose there. We haven't seen that card before. Wallace Johnson. We haven't seen a few of these. Tim Laudner. Charlie Moore. Is this is the last pack? No, we have two more, actually. Um, Tom Hume, looking creepy as always. I mean, like Rick Moranis. I mean, he just always, his cards, he always looks creepy. Um, Tim Raines, look at that, nice. Definitely see that. Yeah, that is nice. Pretty nice cut on that, too. John Stearns. Steve Hammond. Fergie Jenkins. Daryl Thomas. Glenn Wilson. Any trio, Ken Daly, and there's the Phil Negro. All right, um, put these are over here, and I'll sleep them all together. All right, so we got two packs left. Um, we got a Lonnie Smith. They come, they come in pairs. <laughs> right, that's definitely the uh, the same photo session. Bill Madlock, Danny Heap. Um, why does that Lonnie Smith card look? For, was he one of the indicator cards, Lonnie? I can't remember. Um, T.P. Martinez. We haven't seen him. I don't think so. Pants Law. No, we, have we would have remem remembered that card. Cleaning his glasses? Yeah, we'd remember that. Look at that. I like I like Fleer. They throw these in every once in a while, just knowing that it's an oddball picture um, on purpose. Jerry Augustine. Oh, that's an indicator. <coughs> It that, is? That is an indicator. All right. For December? Buckle up. I'm not sure. I remember Dwayne Culper um, uh, holding, look, he's holding a broken bat. See, I was holding it backwards. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. crazy. Um, uh, I mean, unless 
the collation's wrong. This is there's uh, I don't remember if it's Sandberg or if it's Gwen, but uh, I'm gonna go with Sandberg. Tommy John, yes, uh, we're we're on path to one of the guys. It's either Sandberg or Gwen. Cubs, I think you're right. Sandberg, that's him. There he is. That's not him. No. Maybe Marts. Maybe they come in pairs. Uh, they come in pairs. Pat Zachary. Oh, oh there's Gwyn. That's Gwyn. That's, that's for sure Gwyn. That's, that's a nice one, too. The house pulled a nice looking Gwyn. Not too bad. All right. The collation was correct. Um, uh, and of course, it comes in pairs. And yeah, Rupert Jones. Nice. Wow. I might. My uh, yes, man. sleeve or one touch that. Um, yeah, I'll have to use that. As, I'll have to use that as a giveaway. Um, I would mind if you would if you would put that in a one touch. It would make me feel good. I like to see cards in one touches. Yeah, we will. And that's definitely our nicest pull. Even though it, it was uh, the box is right there with it. Um, uh, I think the Gwen is still. You, nice. you, you could have put Boggs in a one touch if you were a classy guy. I really could. <laughs> I really, sh I really should have actually. Um, Considering we haven't hit our, like, we didn't hit I our lotto. I thought we that unwritten rule that like the chase cards, especially when there's only one three. Touches, but maybe that's, that's moving. Forward. And we haven't hit them, so yeah, let's uh, let's do that, and then we have one more, one last pack. But um, yeah. I'm you know how much better, better that Quinn's gonna look when it's in a, a one touch? touch. It is sharp too. That just looks, looks way nice. nice. That's a nice card. I love that. It's not, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a little be, up, up, down, yeah, slightly. slightly. Might be a little bit of a nine, but um, uh, but you're right. I got to do that for um, uh, Russia. Sure, the box is not well cut. It's still just out of respect for being the box. Um, did I? Oh, I see. I didn't actually. Um, I didn't actually stack up Roger M's. I left him right here. I was like, where did I put Roger M's? I mean, it, it is a pretty off-centered, though, but it's still, still, it's still it has it perfect corners, respect. and it's still bogs, so we're, we're still going to one-touch it. And Roger M, is Roger M, uh, I forget if Roger M is a Phillies fan or a Red Sox. I can't remember, actually. See, that already looked better. But yeah, perfect corners, perfect edges. A little blemish right there, but I'm not sure if that's ink or if that's just uh, something on the card. Or Anybody who's a boxer would, would be happy to have it. it. Yeah, just a little bit left to right, but um, sharp card. Uh, more, more than, than a little, little bit, bit, but it's it's, it's more pronounced on the, the top, uh, a one touch. Yeah, on the back. Um, all right, so we're gonna rip this last pack um, just to see if we can hit Sandberg. It's the only only guy we haven't seen really. We saw we've seen all the top cards in the set. Um, uh oh, we saw um, uh, Mr. Underwear before. Um, oh, we haven't seen this guy though. We haven't seen the the uh, black and blue. Um, Vita Blue and Bud Black have the double card. Candyman. <laughs> that'll teach. Wow. You, that'll teach. Lottery you, hit. you yeah, hit it. Absolutely, I'll teach everyone to to avoid you just the lottery. <laughs> I know. You won the lottery. I know. I was gonna do a. Um, uh, you gotta put that in a double holder for yourself. Like you should be collecting these double cards. The double cards are awesome. Your piece. I tell you what, your the stew box has the nicest double card yet, though that I pulled. Um, a Boggs and Carew from '84 Fleer that is like perfect. Um, I have that for you in your. In, that is though. The stew box. <laughs> it's like a shoe box, but it's a stew box. It's the stew box. Tom Underwood, Don Sutton. We're still into new cards, so I'm still, I still have hope. Lee Brandt, Seaver, Steve Rogers, Ron Hodges. Okay, here we no. That could be a rookie card. Pat Tabler. Oh, um, I think that's a rookie. I think Pat Tabler and Joe Carter were both on the Cubs, and they both got traded to the Indians at the same time, unless I'm crazy. Like, the same deal sent both of those guys to the Indians. Chet Lemon, he looks happy. That sounds familiar. Um, Chet Lemon, yeah, he's super happy there. Mike Schmidt, we haven't seen Mike before. Nice. Ken Smith. 
Tommy Boggs. And Dave. Hey, that Boggs. Yeah, right? We, uh, so we hit everyone but um, Sandberg. Um, and uh, no one hit the lotto, unfortunately, except for the, the house. You did. Yeah, the house. The house hit the lotto, unfortunately. Um, you, you should, should open, open up, up like, like the bonus bonus pack you were going to give away for yourself. Um, uh, well, we opened you them all. The lotto. We opened all the packs. Um, those were the last four. Were the oh, didn't you have like a lot? Yeah, but what would the lotto won? Oh, um, the lotto is this, which I am going to do. Um, so uh, I have four of these. Um, these are 2018 Series Two. Um, this is one of the hottest things going right now because of the bat down Acuna is probably yeah. the hottest card in baseball. Uh, it is absolutely ridiculous. Um, this prices it's gone up like 30% in the last two months. Um, Thanks to Gary V. And yes, he hypes it. And, um, uh, and, and the fact that it's a short print and it's his flagship rookie, even though it's a short print, um, the 18 update is, uh, also a hot Acuna, but this is the first one. And it is a short print, so it's always going to be a hot card. It's really hard to hit, but I've got four of these. I'm going to do them in a separate video. Um, uh, Fair enough. Yeah, and um, and we'll we'll try to hit the uh, the Acuna. So um, so we hit two of the three. Um, the house hit Gwyn, which I'll probably use as like a giveaway, and then Mr. Roger M um, hit the box, and we never saw Sandberg, but. Um, we saw, you know, Ripken and Ryan and um, Pete Rose and, you know, all the stars of the day. I think we saw everyone that we really wanted to see, honestly, except for... Yeah, I had a lot of fun, man. That was good. That was fun. Um, I really like these cellos. As long as they're from a sealed case, it's too, there's too, it's too stressful um, if, they're, if they're not. Because you're like, someone's mapped it out or whatever. If it's from a sealed case, you know you're the first one opening it. So, um, right. so anyway, uh, we'll get all these packed up. Thank you guys for buying in. Um, John E., Danny R, Roger M, um, Stu Stone, as always, thank you. Yes, I'll see you on the next one. Yes, and um, uh, just to throw out a couple ideas for the next one, um, I've got a, uh, I got a good deal on 85 tops, so we can always do that one. Yep, love it. I got a pretty good deal yes. on the box, and um, this is for the future, but uh, I have a nice sealed arrow code box. And we've got yes. to, we've got to take some time because I I can't I can't do another dull yeah. you know we've got to take a break, but um eighty nine Fleer Air eighty five tops sounds, sounds good, good. Um, but uh, eighty five tops might be our next one so um yeah, yeah I, I like, like that, that a lot. lot so watch the channel and um uh, we'll announce a new video soon thanks Stu have a great week and we'll see you soon take man. care man be safe out there man absolutely you guys you too thanks.